In this video, we'll show you the process of how to troubleshoot a system when night mode is present. This video was recorded in a closed training environment. Refer to the manual and adhere to your company's safety practices while in the field. When a solar edge inverter is displaying night mode, that means that it's seeing less than 6 volts DC from the solar array. Before troubleshooting the error, verify that the DC safety switch is on and that the cause is not weather related. For example, snow-covered panels, or excessive shading. Once you've verified the error is not weather-related, de-energize the system and inspect the upper cabinet as well as the connection unit for evidence of damage. If no damage is present, replace the upper cabinet cover and turn on AC power, leaving the toggle switch in the off position. Next, disconnect each string to test open air voltage. If voltage matches the number of optimizers in the string, Reconnect the string and attempt to repair. In some cases, this may resolve your issue. However, if it does not resolve the issue, Connect each string individually to test DC voltage at the bottom and top of the DC safety switch. With the switch in the off position, place the positive and negative leads of your multimeter on the DC terminations at the bottom of the switch and test the voltage. The voltage should equal the number of optimizers in the string that you are testing. Now do the same at the top of the switch. Note, polarity from left to right may swap from bottom to the top of the switch. This is how the switch is manufactured. The voltage at the top of the switch should be zero because the DC safety switch is in the off position. Next, turn the switch on using a linesman's pliers to repeat the test. The voltage at the bottom and top of the switch should be equal to the number of optimizers in the string that you are testing. This verifies that the voltage can pass through the switch. If a string is landed, the DC safety switch is on and you're reading 0 volts DC at the top of the switch, contact SolarEdge support for the next troubleshooting steps. If the voltage collapses on the string when the DC safety switch is on, this is likely due to a loose connection in the DC array, and you'll need to troubleshoot the array. While testing the array, start by testing the voltage in the junction boxes. Voltages at these points should also be equal to the length of the longest string. Also verify that there's no evidence of water intrusion. Next, check string connections. Look for any connections that are damaged or not properly seated. An improper connection will look like this. If you locate connections that aren't seated properly or damaged, correct the issue and perform a tub test. Once you've verified all issues have been resolved in the array, retest at the connection unit and attempt to pair. If the string voltage is correct and the inverter is still showing night mode, please contact the SolarEdge Support Center for the next steps in troubleshooting the process. Thanks for joining us today. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos.